let's move on to another fight that is on the same card. And I think it's it's noteworthy. Jack Hermanson and Edwin Shabazian is going to be on UFC 262. I love that. I love that matchup. Both coming off losses, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I really up. like this matchup. And and that's that's just what's so fun about these this sport these days, man, is there's so many incredible matchups. Like, mm -hmm. every single time a fight gets announced, I'm like, damn, that was a really good matchup. I love this fight. I love that fight. You know, we just skimmed over Tony Ferguson against uh, Benil Darius. He's going to be on that card. God, that's a great that, fucking fight, dude. That is a that's great a scary fight. That's a scary fight because Darius has looked great. Fantastic. As of late. Yeah, and he's got the ground game to match. He does. Dude, dude, yeah. that's a fight. I hope it goes down to the ground immediately Ooh, because I cannot yeah. wait to see what happens. Mm -hmm. I want to see those jiu-jitsu transitions. The jiu-jitsu, just the jiu-jitsu display that is, could happen in that fight is fantastic. And yeah. just watch those sand and bang. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> and, hey, but I'm all for that, I'm too, I'm all for man. it, too, yeah. Because <laughs> Ferguson's one tough cookie. So. And then you got the power in Darius. Yeah. Hey, hey, I like it. I like it. I love that matchup. I love that man, Going back to Hermanson and Shabazian too, man. That's a great matchup. I, where do you see that fight taking place? You think that's going to take place on the match, or you think this is going to be stand up and bang? Ooh, probably. Because it's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. A, to I determine. mean, it's another one, dude. Because yeah. Hermanson, you don't want to go down to the ground with Hermanson, but Shabazian's got fantastic well, jiu-jitsu as well. You saw that I mean, against Kelvin Gaslam with that mm, leg lock, oh, that dude, was or the instant, heel hook, whatever instant. it was. It was a it was a submission on the left. That's not where you want to be with no, with Jack. No, you no, do no. not want to be in that 50-50 position because the chances of him getting that heel hook is fucking probably good. Yeah, He's like a Ryan Hall in that situation, so you don't want to fuck with that. Another big thing before we move from 262 i mean dude this will be happening in texas texas did just open up a hundred percent not too long ago it was in the news i'm sure everybody's heard it's gonna be in houston and it will have a crowd so a toyota center sold out 20 30 000 people it's fucking awesome. sign me up yeah dude. dude for real sign me up all right moving on to some other news Paulo Costa, we did talk about this earlier. Paulo Costa is out of the main event with uh, Robert Whitaker. Supposedly, it was flu-like symptoms. It was not Rona, but just because he got sick and then he can't train for probably a week because of it, and he's mm -hmm. such a big fuck. Like, yeah, he is. Fucking gorilla, Takes him a dude. while to cut that he's way. He's a fucking gorilla, I don't, dude. I still don't know how this dude makes 185. Dude, he walks away. At, he walks around at 230. It's insane. Dude, it's like, what? You're And you're cutting down to 185. He's just killing himself. So I, I understand. Like, you got to take a week off. You're not making that. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter if it's oh, six to like, I think it was like five weeks out at the time. <laughs> it's like, you're going to you're gonna drop out five weeks out. Yeah. I guess, yeah, he needs it to wait, to cut weight. So it's understandable. But we got to talk about this. Kelvin Gaslam stepping in on short notice. And I love this too, because two years ago, this was the fight to make. Literally the day of the fight, we got uh, two years ago when these two were matched up, for we got title. word for a world title, mind you. Yeah, absolutely. Robert Whitaker had to pull out because of a sports hernia that was absolutely killing him. And that, that was dangerous. And Robert oh, Whitaker yeah. got some flack for that. And it pissed me off. Dude, like, he wanted to fight. Understand. Yeah. He went to fight with a hernia. And if he got kicked, he would have died. Yeah, that requires like real surgery. Yeah, he would have. They said, if you go out and fight, you will die. Well, dude. And he, he's like, I don't care. Yeah. That's called a savage. Yeah. And dude, like people were giving him a little flack online. I'm like, just shut up, guys. You wouldn't even get in an octagon to begin with. So shut the fuck up. Like, I don't care <laughs> about your stupid opinions. But, but you know, nonetheless, he was going to get in there. He was going to fight. But, you know, a body kick or a body shot, yeah. man. That's all it takes. Like, that's all it takes, and he could never fight again. But we're finally getting this matchup. And this is the perfect replacement. This is the perfect replacement for Paulo Acosta. Mm -hmm. And it's a fight that I think still makes sense because Kelvin Gastelum uh, recently coming off that win. You know, so I like this, man. And it's still kind of a contender fight. And Robert Whitaker, man, what 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 do we do if he wins this fight? He's got to get a title shot. He's got to. He's right? got to get the I mean, Izzy at some fight. Point. I, mean, I mean, no offense to Robert Whitaker. I think Izzy smokes him probably again. Yeah, I, just, think, just, I think Whitaker I, I was dealing with some shit, man. I think it'll be, a, I'm not saying that Izzy won't win that fight, but what I am saying is it'll be a better uh, better competitive fight I hope than so. it was last time around. I, I really so. do believe that. I hope so, because it really should be an extremely competitive fight. I mean, Robert Whitaker, I mean, he was undefeated at middleweight. And technically, I mean, other than Izzy, he hasn't lost. So, I mean, it's just, it's just this is his obvious weight class, and he's fucking dominant. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I think Izzy's just that much better, unfortunately. Yeah. I'd love to see it, though. I'd love to see. I mean, who else for Izzy, really? I mean, there's not too much else right now. I know, nope. you know, so. And since we're on Paulo I like Costa. That. I like the Till Vittori winner. Oh, yeah. You know, okay. okay. But outside of that, yeah. There's no, there's not a lot that he hasn't fought and beaten, so. I'm sorry, but if, if Till wins that fight and they choose Till for a title shot over Robert Whitaker, 
I will personally fly down to the UFC offices in Vegas and streak their building. Wow, okay. So you're going to streak like it here naked first. and just run across yeah, just the building? Yeah, just ride across the building. Hey, you know what? But at least I'll be wearing a mask, so you guys got that. That is true. Like, that's... that's <laughs> It's the most important thing, <laughs> unquestionably. Absolutely. So Brunson called out Costa. Do you think that that's the fight they're going to make? Uh, dude, I mean, as we alluded to earlier in the preview or the recap show earlier, that's the fight I like. I yeah. think, again, you know, Brunson had his, his T's crossed and his I's dotted when it came to uh, winning the fight dominantly against Kevin Holland, succeeding in his game plan, and then he literally had the perfect call out ready to go. That's called a savvy vet right there. Yep. And I love the matchup. And it's the matchup that that Derek Brunson deserves, man. He really deserves a, a top five guy. And Paula Costa coming off that embarrassing loss to, to Israel Adesanya, I think is this is the perfect matchup to make. Yeah, so he I'm definitely didn't deserve a number one contender fight, right? Like, what the fuck? Like, no. why even make that Whitaker fight? I get it. It's yeah. a good matchup, blah, 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 all the talking points. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. like, that's a, no one wants that. No, dude. Make the guy build up. He got embarrassed completely. It's just... I don't understand yeah. some of these decisions. And I gotta be honest sometimes. with you, I like the Robert Whitaker Kelvin Gastelum fight better than I like the Robert Whitaker yes. Paula Costa fight. Yes, me too. And I like this Brunson fight more than I, uh, or the Paula Costa Brunson fight more than I did uh, vice versa. So yeah, I agree. 100%. I, I like it. I think it all shake, uh, shook out, and uh, you know this all makes sense to me. 